Darren Yergin here on behalf of the NCAA from the NCAA's Division Three Baseball Championships in Cedar Rapids, Iowa, joined by the national champion, Salisbury University Seagulls. Um, from left to right, Benji Thalheimer, Kavi Kaster, head coach Troy Brohan, and Sky Rayhill are with us here on the interview. Uh, so why don't we just start with an opening comment from Coach Brohan about how the game went. Well, first of all, I just, uh, you know, I want to thank the players, all the coaches, uh, training staff, alumni support that we've had during this week has been incredible. Um, I couldn't be more proud of everybody. Um, as far as the game goes, we grinded out another one. Uh, you know, we left a ton of runners in scoring position, couldn't get that big knock when we needed it. Um, but we pitched extremely well today. Um, and the guys got some timely hitting to put us on the board to give us a lead and pitch with a lead. Um, you know, made it interesting in the ninth. We tell the guys it's never going to be easy to get that last one, and it wasn't today. Um, but we got it, and uh, this group right here and everybody out there, you know, they're national champions, and I, I couldn't be more proud of them. Um, all right, so now we'll open things up to the media. First, Trayvon Miles. Coach, first of all, congratulations. Um, Thanks, I think Trayvon. it was uh, your first year uh, here in Salisbury where you guys uh, made the trip. Uh, to the national championship. Uh, what did you do differently this time around? Was there any any kind of approach thing you did differently? Or what were some of the differences? Um, and what do you think made a difference um, in your success this time around? You know, uh, a little bit of everything, to be honest. We didn't really do anything different. Um, we have a really close-knit group of guys. Um, we got some timely hitting uh, when we needed to. We got some big outs when we needed to. Uh, to, to do this, you know, I've, I've been around this game a long, long time. And to, to win a championship, to win something significant like this, um, you got to have a little luck with you, along with some great, great players. Um, but this team really loves each other. Um, they pour into each other. They hang out together. They support each other. Um, and, I, and I think the closeness of this group has a lot to do with it. Um, there's always a same sense of calmness, uh, whether we're ahead, behind. We don't get a hit. We do get it. There's always a sense of calmness. And... Uh, you know, it's contagious. And uh, I think that was the biggest difference this year. And if I could follow up really quickly, uh, Benji, uh, freshman starting a closeout game uh, is a really big spot. Uh, How would you feel coming into this morning uh, when Coach put the ball in your hand? Well, um, the win yesterday definitely took a lot of pressure off today. So all I was thinking about was going out and just giving everything I had and throwing strikes. And that's about it. I'll say something, Trayvon, that the reason he got the ball today, and this is what I told him and I told the team, is Benji believes he's great. Um, he didn't get a whole lot of innings this year. Uh, struggled a couple of times when he did get, get some innings. Um, but he believes he's great, and I can live with that, going with that on the mound today. My, my last question before I pass it off, uh, Coach, was referenced a lot, that 23-inning game uh, against Southern Virginia. Uh, that ends up being you guys' last loss. I know Kavi wasn't there, uh, but what did you guys learn from that? What do you remember about, about that day in particular, and how did that kind of catapult you guys to being here today? Well, I mean, I don't believe in bad losses. Um, we didn't play well enough to win that day. Um, you know, it's probably one of the craziest games I've ever been a part of, um, but we didn't play well enough to win that day. And, uh, you know, maybe it gave our guys a little sense of urgency. Um, you know, we always talk about don't play up to your opponent, don't play down to your opponent, you know, play our, our brand of baseball. Um, but that was just one of those games that uh, we didn't play well enough to win. And every game after, uh, we played well enough to win. Um, so I don't really believe in bad losses. Uh, but, uh, you know, maybe it was a little bit of an eye-opener for some of our guys. Thanks, Coach. Congratulations, guys. Thank you, Trayvon. And now Ricky Pollitt with Salisbury. Hey, gents. Congrats to you guys. Um, you know, for you, obviously, you're in a different role this time around, but how does this win compare to um, the 2001 World Series that you were a part of? You know, I've, I've had 27 guys after that since uh, I held the trophy. I mean, it's a totally different feeling. I mean, in 2001, I had a part in it. I could I could t determine an outcome of, of a game or two with the way I pitched. Um, I have no control uh, over how these guys perform. Uh, the only thing myself and the coaching staff try to do is put each and every one of them in a great situation to succeed uh, with their own abilities. We always talk about be the best you in that situation. Um, so 
uh, you know, there are different things, uh, different, different feelings for each one. Um, this one, I just, I'm, I'm so happy for the kids um, and, and the coaching staff, Ron Sires, God bless him. He's been here for 24 or five years coaching. Um, he, he bleeds maroon and gold. Um, he, he puts a lot of time and effort into this and to see him uh, get emotional with the guys um, and, and just, this is what he always talks about at the beginning of the year, playing on the last day of the season. And when we woke up this morning, I told Coach Sires, I said, Coach, you're playing on the last day of the year right now. And, uh, you know, we came out on top today. So I'm very, very happy for all that. And Benji, for you, kind of going off Trey's question, um, you know, didn't have that many innings this year, but you did have a few innings in that Sunday game. How did that really help your, help your uh, comfortability going and getting the start today? Well, um, I just had a lot of confidence going in. Um, I try not to think about the whole situation. I just try to go in and do it as well as I can. Um, I mean, that's pretty much all you can do. Uh, I try not to get nervous, but, um, you know, I just go out there and I, I do what I do, I guess. And Kavi, I mean, can you kind of, you know, just take us through that that last play? I mean, you're standing out there and left. You see it coming. You know what's on the line with that play. Can you kind of just take us through what's going through your head? Um, I knew I had to get there. And there's no better feeling than making the last out of the championship game. So it's something that's really special for me and I'll remember the rest of my life. And last one for me, um, Sky, you know, you had a heck of a game. You've had a heck of a tournament, heck of a season. Um, and I feel like one thing we hear about is just the, you know, the dedication that you really put into this season and the hard work. Can you kind of just take us through, you know, your effort in the off season to ensure that you came in, had the amazing season that you had and, you know, walked away with the national championship? Well, you know, uh, I appreciate that. Uh, you know, I'm just really passionate about baseball and about playing for this team. And, you know, it was my goal to, to win a national championship when I came here. Um, so in the offseason, I just had that in mind. And um, I wouldn't have done it without the guys, without people like, I think about guys like Will Gutekunst just came to my head right now, guys like that who were ahead of me, who worked so hard all the time, and stayed late, and came early, and just did put so much into this program. And I guess I just want to say that this year wasn't just about the guys that were on this team. It was about years past and guys who like led the way and showed me how to work hard. Guys who helped me in the weight room, Tommy Labriola, Mike Wade, Dave Hughes. Just there's so many, so many people put so much into this and um, I wouldn't put myself in any special category of hard work. I think we have tons of guys that work hard like that. We have a culture that is like that. So it's just, it's really special. Thanks, Chance. Congrats again. Thank you. Anything from Cyril Parham from Salisbury? Sounds like not. How about the Delmarva Life Show? Okay, it seems like they're just in as spectators. So Jim Dixon from D3Baseball.com. Oh, I have nothing. Thank you. Okay. Well, it looks like you guys passed the test here um, and you're coming away. In closing, the Seagulls finished the season with an outstanding 34 and four record, 14 and two mark in the coast to coast conference as conference champs rode a 14 game winning streak through the high point regional to their first ever baseball national championship. So thank you to you four for being here with us. And um, best of luck to the Seagulls as you guys go forward. Appreciate it. Thank you. We can take our name tags today, can't we? All of these.